Kvinde er sort. Right. So what you've got first, gas locker. So in here, you've got your gas. So on this motorhome, the heating hot water wakes off gas. Your fridge can wake off gas. And obviously your hob. While ever you're driving, you turn the gas off. So that valve there, you turn that off. Always do. The spare bottle just in case you run out. If you do run out of gas, I do ask you to replace it for a same bo same bottle, mainly at your campsites or petrol stations. You do that. So when you get to your campsite, turn your gas on. Turn it on, and you see there. Look, see the green button. You press the green button. That puts gas into your van, so your gas is working then. When you come to leave your campsite, turn the gas off. There we go. Door, simple open. Now this catch folds up out of the way so you don't catch it. So if you're trying to do the door, you slam it like that, it won't shut. So just make sure you put that catch down. Slam the door, it's locked. 240 volt, so you've got your lead, there's a lead with the van. Basically male and female, so one side will only fit into this plug socket. The other end will plug into your campsite. You literally plug that into both ends and you've got electric into the van. This motor has got a garage. in there look plenty of room for a few bikes if you want to get them in you've got all your electrical hook cable leveling ramps there's a hose pipe to fill your fresh water up there's a watering can you can use that to fill your fresh water up if you're not near a water point outside table and chairs and in the black bag there there is the extra cushions to make the fourth the second bed up you've got everything you need in there your waste water, as I was saying, in the van. If you get the light that comes on and says the waste water's full. Little lever there. That pulls in and out. So once you push it in, that shuts the waste water off so it can fill up. You pull it and the waste water empties out. You do that over a place called your grey waste in a campsite. So what you do, reverse the van over the grey waste point, which is basically a grid on the floor, pull the lever, your waste water will empty out. Please don't empty that on the side of the road. Reverse camera. Another entry into the garage. And then this side. That's just your vent for your water heater. Toilet, right. So, as I say, when you uh, use the toilet, the, the waste goes into this cassette. So you see the yellow lever underneath. What you have to do is, you make sure the lever on the toilet is shut. So the grey lever under the bowl. Then you can literally lift that up. And the cassette slides out. So it just pulls out from the van. They empty this at your campsite, don't empty it anywhere else. And you empty that at the Elsin point, which is next to the toilet. So all you do is this folds out, pulls out, and then undo that, empty your toilet. Make sure it's fully empty. And then you literally just push it back in. Like that. Shut the door. Fresh water goes in there. So literally undo it, put your hose pipe in or your watering can. Once it's full, it just overflows. There's nothing technical about that at all. It's as simple as that. And then put your cap back on.
They always have fresh water in, but we do advise not to drink from the tap. Just be careful of this, this one. This is where the diesel is. So you fill your diesel up there. That's the key for the cab to do your diesel. Make sure, you might have sound daft, don't fill the fresh water up with diesel or other way around. So that one's your fresh water, that one's your diesel. Empty cab, as I say, both front suite seats swivel around. And all they do is you pull them around. You've got a little red lever under there, look, you pull the red lever up. And the seat swivel you might have to pull the seats forward and backwards just to get them all the way around but both of them do the same so in the cab look you've got a reversing camera that automatically comes on when you put the vehicle into reverse, so you don't have to touch anything on there, really. Stereo, it's all Bluetooth. You've got cruise control, you've got air conditioning and everything like that. Handbrake is this side, so you don't forget. You can alter the seat up and down, wherever you like to go. Under the sun visor is the measurements of the motorhome, so you know how high it is and how long, long it is. And you've got the curtains, so you can put them across the front. Now then, the last bit. So here we have a, in our folder, so in there you find all our insurance details. There's everything there for breakdown cover, insurance, accident report forms just in case. There's our gas safety tickets. There is also the instructions to make up the second bed can't really show you on cam on the video, it's a bit awkward, so I've took a load of photos of how it works. The table goes down, you'll see all that, all that on the, the pictures. Rearrange the cushions and use the cushions that are in the back of the motor room, and that makes you into a second double bed. So, class to the fork there. <clears throat> there we go. All we ask for on your return, please make sure the toilet is empty. Make sure the wastewater is empty. Make sure the interior is clean. Don't worry about the outside. But we do expect the interior, the fridge, everything else to be cleaned as you is from when you picked it up. Other than that, we want you to enjoy your holiday. Any issues, you can ring me at any point and I'll guide you through it. And there we have it. Thank you.